Hi, I'm Danielle Valores from Charlotte, North Carolina, and I'm an Explant Thriver. Before implants, I was like at the top of my game. I was 48. I had lost 40 pounds. I had a six pack. I was, I was being able to do like burpees and uh, I felt like I was flying when I was doing burpees. I was just so strong and it was amazing. I never thought I could be that strong. Losing 40 pounds at 48 leaves things a little, um, let's just say lackluster. And uh, I decided to get breast implants. And I taught, went to a plastic surgeon and we just, we just, we actually, we were talking about fat transfer and different things. I didn't have the fat transfer, so breast implants was the way to go. So I got breast implants. So I got the breast implants and I actually got them right after my 48th birthday. And I thought it would be so miraculous and so wonderful. And all I, all I thought in that moment was like, wow, these are bigger than I thought they would be. So about three months in, I was able to exercise and get back to the burpees and, and doing all the things. But right around that time, it was amazing because I, I, I didn't have the oomph, the energy, the, the sense like I was flying like I did before the implants. And um, that, that was, you know, in hindsight, that was my first uh, look at an aha. And um, and then time went through, and I was in, I honestly was enjoying them and being 48, almost 49 by now, and I was enjoying the physique that I had. And then I think I got a cold that lasted a long time, and then I started to swell, and my ankle started to swell, my hair started to fall out, and and life just wasn't as enjoyable as it once was. And I never once thought it was the breast implants. There was just so insidious type of illnesses. The fatigue was a big thing. The the lack of joy was another for me. Um, the it was so hard to keep the weight off where I had just lost 40 pounds the year before, and so all of a sudden now the weight gain came, and I would see doctor after doctor, and they would just say that it was menopause, and at 49 this was to be expected, and it just was a mismatch. It just didn't it didn't make sense, and I'm a what they call a physician assistant. So I've been trained in Western medicine and I've been trained as a medical professional and it just didn't register that this was menopause. And and everyone was telling me that this was, you know, this is what menopause does. You lose hair, you swell, you, you know, you get depressed, you get bloated. Um, uh, and then all of a sudden I started getting these exertional migraines and my left arm went numb and I couldn't move and I couldn't function like I once did. And people thought my personality had, you know, they kept asking me what was wrong. Like it, it was like some life had been sucked out of me. And I'm like, no, I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'm doing all the things. And all my lab tests came back normal. And it was just a mystery, shall we say. And then when I look back at my timeline, Everything started three months after I got the implants. Like I, I wasn't healing as fast. I wasn't doing the things. So I just thought maybe it was the surgery and thought, okay, it's the surgery. It's just gonna take me a little longer. So I kept trying, I kept trying. I kept going back to the plastic surgeon and he kept saying, it's not the implants, it's not the implants. And when the my left arm began to really hurt and my neck and the exertional migraines, like all these things just kept clustering and they kept diagnosing me for something that wasn't, it just didn't feel right. And when I went into Explant, I asked him to remove all the capsules and he did. And I woke up and I felt like 70, 80% better. I mean, at that time when you're going from feeling so bad to so good, it felt like everything, like it felt like all better. The journey has been interesting, but in that moment I knew I did the right, read the right thing for me. Um, and, and really that's, that's all I know to say in this moment is that the explant for me in that moment I knew from the first breath I took when I was awake 
that I could breathe bigger, I could breathe larger, and I knew I did the right thing. If someone else came to me to say, hey, should I get my implants removed, I would I would guide them probably in a more physician assistant, medical kind of way. I would ask them what their symptoms are. I would ask them what that looked like and why they're questioning to remove their implants. And then I would ask them to get a breast implant MRI and to look for something called SIGBIC, which is a silicone induced granuloma. If you have that silicone induced granuloma, and you have symptoms. Studies have shown that removing the breast implant with the capsule and the granuloma shows that vitality, that symptoms um, decrease and health um, is more accessible. So you can optimize your health better. So I would like to know why that person would like to remove their implants. And what I know as a scientist and what I know as a PA is that breast implants and really any foreign object in the body makes the immune system respond and it's on and it's on 24 seven. And now different implants make your body respond in different ways. Breast implants, whether it's saline or silicone, make your body respond to the chemicals, to the extractables, to the volatiles that we know are bleeding into the body. And that's something called gel bleed. And it's with any implant. So I would like to know how that implant is interacting with that person's body. And the best way I know how is through a, a breast MRI to study the integrity of that breast implant. This has affected my life in, in such an extraordinary way. I'm gonna get a little choked up because I didn't think my life would go in this trajectory. In fact, I still struggle with this whole purpose and what I'm to do on this planet. This is a women's issue. This is a transgender issue. Anyone with implantable devices that contain silicone, this, this, we need more, better, different. And this is my purpose now. And this is why we do the Breast Implant Health Summit. This is why Sarah and I are gonna work on training practitioners on how to treat, assess, recognize breast implant illness. This is what we, I will bring to the world and this wasn't possible before. You know, this is actually a tough question for me. And why? Because I used to think and wanna, wanted to believe that I could have my old life back. I don't have that. I don't have, I, I don't have that anymore. But what I do have is a new perspective, a new context really, really even a new purpose. And I have vitality and I have what's true to me and the authenticity that I've learned who I am through this journey. I learned what I can do and who I can be, which I would have told you before I had the implants that I knew all that. Apparently there was a lesson to learn in all that. I've learned humility. I've learned vulnerability and integrity. And I didn't have that before, nor did I know that I wanted that. Life is richer now, life is fuller now. There's always access to vitality. There's always optimization. And there's always time for you and your family and your children and your pets and your garden.